What's up everybody? Thanks for watching. Today is October 7th. Getting ready to go out and hit a piece of public land. My dad and I both drew a managed deer hunt here in Missouri. So we're going to go out and hit a really good spot and uh, hopefully we'll do really well. So if y'all could please do me a big favor and go ahead and hit that like button on this video. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and you know let me know in the comments if you've ever uh, done any managed hunts or have any questions about any managed hunts. So thanks for watching. Let's uh, get to the action. After reviewing the shot, I discovered that my arrow in mid-flight, there was a twig in between me and that deer, and when it hit that twig, it deflected over to the left. So obviously I missed the deer by, I mean, I hit probably a foot and a half to the left of where I was aiming. I'm like, what in the world? I thought I'd like torque the shot, but obviously just my regular eye and normal speed, if it wouldn't have been for the video and being able to play it back, I would have thought I just made a horrible shot. What's up guys? This is going to be a good one, I'm telling you. You want to watch this all the way through to the end, I'm sure. Uh, just to kind of give you a brief overview um, I'm getting ready to get down now but I ended up seeing 10 deer and 10 turkeys and one coyote so it was an incredible hunt uh, so I'm gonna bring that footage to you now so thanks for watching please make sure you hit that subscribe button for me that really helps out a lot and on this one it's gonna be a little different at the very end I'm gonna go over my setup where I am why I'm doing it Here's a buck, two of them.
boom, just killed my second deer ever with traditional gear. That was with my recurve bow. So man, that was insane. It's almost 11 o'clock. I was literally trying to show and tell y'all about this whole hunt. I, I can't believe that. I was literally just telling everybody and I heard a twig snap and I turned and looked and these two bucks were coming right here. And I mean, he was right there probably 20 yards walking. And I mean, I shot him, I hit him a little back, but I seen him turn and run probably 80 yards and I heard him crash. So I'm sure he's right there. Man, I can't believe that. <laughs> so when I got in here, I ended up having, I guess it would have been a doe and a two does went through that way a little while later i had the button buck and a spike come this way and then as i was sitting there a little later i had a doe a fawn and then a three point come through and i shot and missed right there after all that happened you know i had some turkeys come through and then i just had um what was it uh i had two more three does i had a, a doe and two fawns come through this way and then like i said i was getting ready to leave and that deer came in and i mean shot him right there unbelievable so uh i'm gonna wait for my dad and we'll go get that recovery it wasn't a big deer it was just a spike but basically it just, I can't believe that. That's pretty cool. Before I do get a recovery on that deer, I wanted to kind of explain my setup why i missed that first shot on that deer and then this one so basically over here i've got the river it's probably only 150 yards but it comes through and then right here there's a little rise and it kind of comes down so that's a ridge those deer like to work that but this here is all a super cane thicket and last year i scouted out in here and i had a there's a good trail right here so I was hoping to, you know, have that trail, but I've got a trail here. There's just all kinds of trails. So, you know, deer kind of a creature of edge. So I'm just up on this right here. So here's my setup. I'm two sticks high. I'm a saddle hunter, obviously. Uh, I'm hunting with the predator platform. I'm hunting out of the tethered mantis saddle. And then I'm running this triad bridge. But when I first shot and missed that first deer, what happened, I'm sitting here like this, the deer comes in behind me, and because I'm right-handed, naturally I want all my shots to be over here. So I just shot that buck. You can watch that video from last year of the deer I shot as well. Um, I prefer to shoot right here with traditional because I can grab my bow, turn, and shoot all of this, no problem. Now over here, I can do that by just turning, but uh, you know, when they get behind you, you gotta kinda be able to spin, but I've got all this limb right here. So what happened, I let a little room out of my ropeman, stood up, turned around, and when I shot, if you look behind me, there's this limb here, that limb there. But the problem is, is this platform, this is the predator. Um, it's a really good platform, but it's not very wide. So see, I'm kind of like halfway hanging off. So because of that, you know, I was kind of had my foot bearing like this. I'm trying to turn. And if you look, when I grab my bow and I draw back, my arm was hitting this. So I couldn't really get over and, you know, just really force that first shot and shot too quick. But anyway, uh, this is going to be a fun one, y'all. Uh, getting ready to get down and uh, go find that deer so let me uh, let my dad know here it is here's my tree 
I was sitting up right there. There's that limb and all that stuff around me. That first buck I shot at was over there. Ended up jerked the shot, missed. And then that second buck, that spike came around right where those limbs are coming down. I shot him probably at 20 yards. He ran over there. He hit that tree and snapped my arrow off. And I think I heard him crash about 80 or 100 yards in between me and the river. So we're going to get on this blood trail and uh, show you what we got at the end. All right, there's my tree right there. And immediately, this is the shot, the sight of it. You got blood and bubbles. He's working down this trail. We're gonna start following. You got blood there? Probably ran between those two trees. There's blood up there, right there. Yeah, he had to ran. He probably went right through there. There's blood right there. Up there, yeah. I'm sure he went right through here. Yeah, there's blood up here. Oh, I'm stuck. Ugh. Yeah, he hit right there. Oh, here's my arrow. I'm stuck. Yeah, he broke off my arrow right here. So, I've got blood up to there. So, I got probably, probably hit the offside rib. Blood up there. Now, he probably turned and ran out. Oh, blood up here. So, he went through. Through here, you want to walk around, there's blood up there on that log. Oh, uh, there's blood all over this. These trees, that Simmons, oh, look at all that blood. Simmons broadhead tore him up. Blood right there. Blood right there. Oh, yeah. Bunch of blood. Blood right here. You're going right at it. Bunch of blood on the ground right here. So there's blood all right here. So I don't know if he turned or he went that way. Might have turned. You got some up there? Yeah, blood there. He's got to be going this way. If he turned, there's some right there. Uh, I wonder if he turned. You got blood over there? Where you got it? Yeah, right there. 
There's some. Some right here. Yep, right there. I don't think he's gonna be much further. There's some right there. There's some right there. He's gonna go. Yeah, he went that way. I think I see some way up there on that leaf. That yellow leaf, keep going way up there. Keep going, see it on that? Up there. It's not a swacker, it's a uh, Simmons. Simmons Swamp Shark, 175 grain. There he is. He's a, uh, a spike. All right guys, here he is. Uh, you know, kind of seen the track job. He didn't go very far. He probably went about 80 yards, but I hit him. Uh, right behind the shoulder and you know I didn't get a pass through but I did end up getting enough penetration there was a hole on the other side so I guess that ended up coming out but you know he's a spike he's not a monster by any means but he got me excited I did it with you know the trad bow this is the first deer I've ever killed with a recurve pretty cool uh, that's actually my dad's bow from probably 50 years ago when he was you know a teenager but uh, it was really fun you know if you've never hunted with a traditional bow whether it be a long bow or a recurve, I definitely recommend it. It's a lot of fun, you know, instead of just shooting that compound, you know, you, you really got to get some woodmanship and kind of read the, the sign and it's just a lot of fun, you know. Uh, this means just as much as, you know, a big buck with a rifle would mean to me, you know, just being able to make a quick, clean, ethical kill and uh, all that. So I really appreciate all of you watching. Please make sure that you hit that subscribe button. That really helps out and uh, share it with y'all's buddies, all right? God bless you. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. This part of the, the video, I want to actually kind of teach and kind of share some things, uh, maybe answer some questions. So first off, the bow that I was shooting is the uh, Proline. It's a Proline bow out of Hastings, Michigan, and it's called the Participant. So Proline, Participant out of Hastings, Michigan. That bow is like 50 years old, uh, shoots really, really good. Uh, I'm shooting Stalker Extreme Arrows. Uh, they're pretty light. I think they're like 7.3 grains per inch, but I'm shooting 175 grain Simmons 
uh, swamp shark on there. Uh, my poundage on that bow is actually 48 pounds. That's at 28 inches. Uh, I'm a 29 inch draw, so I'm probably shooting right around 50 pounds. Uh, as you could tell, I didn't really show a whole lot of footage of that deer uh, just because I didn't want the uh, video to get pulled or anything like that. But uh, I shot that deer when he was walking. It hit him. Uh, it looked like it was a little far back, but he was actually kind of quartering away. So it came out right behind the shoulder, right in the pocket, and uh, turned out to be really well. And uh, I did get... I didn't get a complete pass through, but the arrow did stick out the other side, so there was a hole out of both sides and a pretty decent blood trail. Something real quick I wanted to cover because I know somebody's probably wondering or they're going to ask, uh, why was I wearing orange, like blaze orange or hunter orange, uh, today in this hunt? Uh, actually, today is October 7th. So that is actually the first day of the early antlerless season. So it is firearm season here. So because of that, I had to wear orange. Even though it is archery season, I was bow hunting. But because of that special season, the rule is uh, you had to wear orange. So, you know, I try to always make sure that I'm aware of all the, the rules and all that. So it was in the rule book. So I had my orange on, even though I was, uh, you know bow hunting so i just wanted to clear that up with some of y'all some of you might be wondering or question about uh, how i was able to shoot that deer you know missouri has the four point rule on one side uh, that is true but that depends on what county you are so if you read through the rules uh, not every county has a point restriction so obviously on this managed deer hunt where i was at today there was no point restriction therefore um, you know, anything that was, you know, a, a buck was legal. Uh, so, you know, I, I harvest that deer and I did have to use my buck tag on that. Uh, he wasn't a giant, but I'm hunting with traditional gear. I'm having fun. If you've never hunted with a traditional bow, you got to try it. Unbelievable. I think I ended up seeing, I want to say it was like 11, I think it was 11 deer that I seen. And then I seen you know 10 turkeys and i also seen one coyote i don't think i got any footage of those turkeys or that coyote but i really really appreciate y'all watching and please like i said i know i've said it multiple times before but make sure that you hit that subscribe button that really helps me out and i really appreciate it so uh i want to help not only bring content to you but bring stuff that would uh answer your questions help you out uh if you're just getting into traditional gear shooting a longbow shooting a recurve your arrow setups whatever it is if you got questions you know reach out to me uh, i know somebody might ask why do you have multiple arrows in your quiver so if you look at tuning uh, i had a tuning video uh maybe a month or so ago but in that video i have uh, two different arrows or actually there's three three different arrows in my quiver i have a gold tip traditional i have an easton axis traditional and then i have the stalker extremes uh, the reason for that they're different weights they're different spines so that quiver i took off of my longbow and put on my recurve and when i did that uh, that arrow those eastern axis traditionals were 400 spine and they were tuned for my longbow uh, i noticed with that recurve it was a little the spine wasn't just right so I had to go down and spine. So I'm actually shooting a 500 spine uh, arrow. But overall, uh, it did the job and I, I really appreciate it. Uh, if you haven't already done so, I know if you just found me, uh, this is a you know traditional kind of channel I, I wanna learn and teach. I do firearm hunt still, you know, as long as it's legal, I do it. Uh, but, you know, make sure that y'all watch that longbow hunt from last year killed a big 12 point uh, some of you might also ask about a managed hunt what is that or how does that work uh, here in the state of Missouri you can actually apply they have uh, certain managed hunts so you just go to the MDC Missouri Department of Conservation look at managed hunts and uh, the way you would apply you have to have your current hunting license with your confirmation or your your hunter ID number uh, and then you can put in and apply as a group. Uh, but all of your statistics, everything like that is 
listed. So, you know, not only do you want to look at the area, but you want to look at the success rate, uh, the draw odds, all that percentage stuff is there. So just depending on that, that would probably depend on where you want to hunt. But the cool thing about a managed tag and a managed hunt like I just did on this deer, uh, it is just that specific area. It is a managed hunt and there's only a number of uh, guys who or girls or whoever gets drawn that can actually go in there and hunt. Uh, now you do have to purchase your tag, but the deal is, is it is an extra tag. So this tag that I killed this deer on is a managed deer tag. So that does not actually count toward my regular uh, tags. So it's awesome if you've never applied for managed hunts, uh, you know, in the state of Missouri, you can normally kill two bucks a year. But if you draw a managed hunt, that gives you an extra buck tag, gives you extra time to be in the woods. So if you hadn't done it, you know, you might want to look into that. If you got any questions, hit me up. Uh, like I said, please subscribe and God bless y'all. Have a good one. Thanks.